everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day, guys. Thank you very much once again for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. I truly do appreciate it. I think the last episode reached well over 4,000 likes. Uh, guys, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that kind of support. It does mean the world to me. If we can keep it up with at least 3,000 likes per episode, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, some of you guys might be wondering, well, Python, you've finished the hub project. What is is next well i mean obviously we've still got blackstone manor to go ahead and get done but in addition to that i may be going ahead and uh, doing some little bits and bobs around the world one of the things i really want to do is try and connect some of the various areas of the world together like the entrance to the hub towards the you know main base area and various other things guys there's lots of things i want to do to this world to sort of make it in air quotes bigger you know you know give it a little bit more immersion but anyways guys we're beginning here in the next because um, blast mining in the nether is even more rewarding now than it ever was okay so before we had ancient debris of course we had ourselves the nether gold and the nether quartz that you could go ahead and get from blast mining however now you can get even more epic stuff because one of the things that they did in a fairly more recent snapshot is they went ahead and added random patches of gravel and blackstone underground in the nether okay so if we were to go ahead and do a tiny amount of blast mining here uh we're gonna hopefully find that we get ourselves a whole bunch of epic stuff so we've got our portable mining box here got ourselves a bunch of tnt let's go ahead and do a bit of blast mining it's been a while since we've done this but uh yeah man it's even more rewarding now than it ever was i mean look at that guys you you can see it up at the top there there's blackstone there's gold there's even some ancient debris you know tucked away in there it's absolutely fan freaking tastic so yeah basically all i'm doing is i'm making these little pathways at uh, y equals 12 and yeah we're just doing some blast mining because it's a great way of getting gravel and blackstone and blackstone of course is needed for our blackstone manor project right we're gonna need ourselves a lot of it so let's do another one here on camera maybe we can find ourselves some slightly easier to access uh, blackstone that would be fantastic. I didn't mean to fall off there, but I did. But yeah, oh, there we go. Okay, so this time we got ourselves a bunch of gravel. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a hell of a lot of gravel, in fact. And some more ancient debris. Oh my word. This is amazing. I love this. It's so rewarding. Like, more so now than ever to go blast mining. It's amazing. All right, we'll do one final one. Okay, one final one. I like my blast mining, guys. You guys know I like my blast mining. Let's go and do this thing. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch of resources and lava. Oh, boy. I don't really... I'm not really too fond of the lava being there, but uh, everything else... Oh, heck yeah, dudes. All right. Well, let's go and start grabbing ourselves all of the stuffs here, including uh, the uh, ancient debris, of course. Because, believe it or not, we do still have some gear to upgrade up to netherite. For those of you guys unaware, we still have our semi-god piece of armor or demi-god, uh, you know, armor set here. Crash Bandicap, Chestris, Pants vs. Zombies, Space Invaders all need to be upgraded up to netherite. So... Uh, we need ourselves some more ancient debris, huh? So yeah, let's go and do a little bit of mining around here. Let's see how much stuffs we can get. And yeah, we'll get on with some other stuffs. So yeah, guys, instead of having to go ahead and find yourself a gravelly mountains biome or go into the bottom of the sea to find gravel, you could just head into the nether, go underground, do some blast mining, and well, what do you know? You got yourself a bunch of gravel. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, well, we've got a little bit more in the roof there, but uh, this is what we've managed to get so far from just a tiny amount of blast mining that we've done today so far. I mean, this is pretty good, right? Got ourselves a good amount of stuffs. Ah, yeah. My intention is to go ahead and fill up three complete shulker boxes full of just epicness, okay? So we've got a lot of ores and various other bits and bobs to mine up here from the uh, from the areas of Blast Mind uh, before this episode began. Uh, so, yeah, man, there's, there's just so much stuff. It really is. It's actually kind of bonkers. I love it so much. But, uh, yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves the uh, other two shulker boxes and uh, get those placed down. There we go. Uh, the only thing I really don't care about is the nether rack. We have plenty of nether rack back in the other world, guys. Trust me, we've got plenty. <laughs> okay, we don't need to worry about it. Holy poop! Look at that, guys! Four pieces of ancient debris within my vision right now. 
as well as a whole bunch of death and danger. Oh, man. Well, you know what they say, guys. Great risk can sometimes equal great reward. But I tell you what it can also equal is death. <laughs> I don't want to die. Oh, God. This is just terrifying. All right. If, well, if I do that... That might just make... I don't know. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't want to die, bro. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Are these two bits, like, safe now? Okay, that bit's safe. And that bit's safe. Yay! Hey, we've got some, uh, we've got some quartzy doodles over here as well. Don't mind if I do. You know, good source of XP if we're in a bit of a squeeze. Uh, and then we've got these two bits over here as well. As well as a whole bunch of gravel, I guess. Uh, Alright, well, the good... What? There's even more up there? Wow! Okay. Oh, God. This has got to be the luckiest TNT blast I think I've ever done, man. Like, I'm not even kidding, dude. That's kind of amazing. Alright. Well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, bridge our way over to that piece of ancient debris. Oh, gotta be careful. Gotta be so careful. All right, we pop up here. If there's lava above this, I'm going to poo myself. Oh! Okay. No, I think we're still okay. Do you know what? I think I might go ahead and call this direction complete. I don't I don't think I want to tangle with this direction anymore. We've just come across a whole bunch of lava, and I'm just not in the mood to try and take it on. You know what I'm saying? Hey there, buds. And, uh, yeah. What? Oh, hello. One of the things I will say is uh, if you guys notice that there's blackstone around and I haven't mined it, it's because there's lava behind it, okay? That is the only reason I am not mining it up, okay? It's literally the only reason. I don't know what you think of the- Ow, son of a gun. Will you stop stealing my stuff? That gold sword was for me. And he totally, totally stole it. Son of a gun. Bunch of disrespectful poo heads. I can't believe it. All right, well, let's check out our inventory. We've got seven more bits of ancient debris, eh? So 16 is the magic number we're looking for. We have 15 right now, which I guess is really quite nice, actually. Yeah. All right. I'm liking this so far, guys. We are doing very, very good with our resources here. Fantastic. Have they increased the vein size in which you can find ancient debris? Because, I don't know, on average, I've been finding like three at a time stuck next to each other. I always felt like you found them in like ones or twos before, but now it's like threes all around. Huh. Either that or I am incredibly lucky. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, my uh, my 16 target is well and truly mate. In fact, I think we've got enough to make ourselves a spare netherite ingot, uh, should we need it. I'm pretty sure you need a netherite ingot to make a, uh, a lodestone, right? So instead of having to go ahead uh, to a piglin bastion to find them, you can craft them, but it does require a netherite ingot. But I think it's a pretty worthwhile thing to do because, as I've mentioned before, they are essentially waypoint blocks, right? You go ahead, you attach a compass to them, you can name the compass then, and then you can have, like, a whole bunch of compasses, which all have different names, which go ahead and uh, point you towards different areas of your world. I think it's a great way of, uh, you know, staying immersed in your world and not having to rely on the F3 debug screen to get yourself around your world, right? I think it's a really, really cool thing, so... Yeah, we're going to wind up making ourselves like a whole freaking network of lodestones at some point. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to make this one my last explosion since it's the last TNT in the stack that I had. And what have we got? Oh, a whole bunch of blackstone. Okay, blackstone and quartz. Any debris? Uh, doesn't look like it. All right, well, let's continue our little bridge across. And then we're going to grab ourselves a bunch of blacks. Guys, absolutely fantastic. Alrighty, guys. So this is all we managed to get from our little uh, TNT blast mining session. This all came from just one stack of TNT, guys. Like, honestly, that is incredible, isn't it? All right, so we're going to wind up putting all of the gravel inside of the auto-sorter. Uh, because it's something that can be auto-sorted. And then we've got ancient debris, nether gold, or nether quartz, or... Uh, I don't think anything else here can be auto-sorted, actually. Huh. All right, well, let's go ahead and maybe consolidate these all, and then we'll get to our stuffs for today, our little projects for today. 
Oh my goodness, guys, we've got so much stuff. I'll tell you what, maybe we just put all the blackstone in one shulker box. Because uh, we're going to be using a lot of it, aren't we? We're going to be using a lot of it for our blackstone mana project. So yeah, oh, look at that. Pretty much exactly a full stack, uh, a full box worth of uh, blackstone. Nice. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get our demigod armor upgraded. Oh, dang. We've got a lot of stuff on the go here, my friends. We're going to have ourselves a grand total of 25 uh, netherite scrap, which is enough for, I believe, six ingots, which is very, very nice, actually. All right, so let's pop over here. Uh, six ingots. Oh, man. Oh, man. Is that a lot? You know what? One of these days, I'd like to try and make a full netherite block. You know, the block of netherite. That would be incredible, I think. Uh, all right. So, let's grab these bad boys out and let's do this thing. There's Crash Bandicap. Here is Chestris. Awesome. Uh, we do have ourselves Pants vs. Zombies. And finally, Space Invaders. Absolutely beautiful. The only thing that Space Invaders doesn't have is uh, Soul Speed 3, I believe. Uh, actually, oh, cover me in debris. Ooh, get a full suit of netherite armor. Okay, well, that must be an advancement that's recently been introduced because I already have that. Uh, oh, Soul Speed 3, there it is. Okay, could I do this? Do I have enough? Uh, 27 levels. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That's fantastic. So, this is just like a replacement set of god armor now. Like, there is nothing else to upgrade this stuff with. Hey, <laughs> And we've got netherite ingots left over. Yeah, absolutely love to see that. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put those uh, in my mining box. You know, just, just in case we wind up having to use them for whatever reason. Uh, but for now, those can go back in there. That can go back in my ender chest. And yeah, there is something I wanted to try because, uh, guys, check this out. We're on uh, 20W22A. We're on the latest snapshot for Minecraft. And apparently, the 2x2 two two trees bug has been fixed. So I'm going to head up to my tree farming room real quick. And we're going to give it a bit of a go. Okay, we're going to do this thing. Because if it works then we are in for a good, good time. So here we go. There's the dark oak saplings. Uh, got some bone meal here. Oh, wait, there's a little bit more there as well. Hey, there we go. Fantastic. All right, does this thing work or not? Let's go and give it a bit of a go. Hey! Fantastic! Yeah! All right, guys. Well, you've seen it here first. Two by two trees in Minecraft are officially fixed. Woohoo! Yeah, all right. So we're going to be getting ourselves a whole bunch of these things. Oh my goodness, this is so great. Oh, you could still grow it like in like fairly confined spaces as well. Hey! <laughs> all right, guys. Well, there you go. We have ourselves the 2x2 two two trees bug uh, fixed, which is fantastic. All righty, guys. So we're in the skies right now because I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys about the whole plan with this world. There's going to be some uh, quite major terraforming projects to come up uh, in that uh, you might see that there's like river biomes here, but uh, they're not very nice looking, right? Because they're sort of uh, safe segregated every now and again by bits of land. So one of the things I would like to do is to go ahead and make these into proper river biomes, you know, something we can actually take a boat through and not like bump into things every now and again, you know, I think that could be a really, really nice way of expanding the world and, uh, you know, making it feel a little bit more immersive, not having crummy little river biomes like this, this here, this here is technically a river biome. Like we go onto our F3 screen right here where it says biome it says it's a river but clearly it isn't because there's a whole bunch of freaking grass going on here so you know it's going to be one of the things that i'd like to do is actually open up all of the waterways around the place right so for example this would go like all the way around the back here and it goes all the way over here and this right over here is actually pretty much zero zero believe it or not ladies and gents so it'll be nice to you know connect up our various project areas areas via waterways. We could take boats through, we could maybe make some tiny little boat builds inside of the rivers. I think it could be really, really nice. Maybe we try and connect up this little island lake area as well. And look at this, guys. We've got the uh, we've got the iron golem. Well, it's not even supposed to be an iron golem farm. Oh my god. There's so many dudes here. What the hell? Wow. Um, okay. Well, this isn't what's supposed to have happened. Oh, there's even one inside here. What the hell? <laughs> this is so weird. 
cube. There's not supposed to be iron golems all over the place, man. Ah, all right, Minecraft. Well, you do your own thing, huh? Maybe that's uh, contributing to the high entity count around here. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, you know, little terraforming things going on. Uh, like, if we come down here, one of the things I have done since the last episode is actually flattened this entire area out and replanted a forest. And as a result of doing that, look at this. We've got some more bee nests. Huh? They generate with the growing trees. I think that's really nice. We can maybe start expanding our main base area out here. We've got a nice, large forested area to work with, guys. Like, honestly, I've got so many plans going on. I mean, for the for the last few episodes, I won't lie, I feel like I definitely have had a little bit of creator's block going on. But, uh, you know, with, with Blackstone Manor, you know, going on and some various other bits and bobs, I think I could probably pull myself out of this and, uh, you know, really get back back to grips with what I love about this ride, and that's this area, you know? I love this area. I love flower forest biomes. I think they're absolutely fantastic, and I feel like we could uh, do a really, really nice job in terms of uh, building this area up over the coming episodes. So when it comes to episode 100's world tour, we actually have something decent to show you guys, right? Huh? It's a cool idea, isn't it? So I think that'll be maybe our main focus going forward uh, is going ahead and just trying to improve the area around here because since episode 75, we really haven't done anything on the surface. In fact, at all, really, huh? I mean, aside from Blackstone Manor, you know? So, yeah. Anyways, talky segment over. Should we maybe make a bit of a start on some various bits and bobs around here? I mean, maybe the first thing we do is try to expand the little, uh, you know, the little railing type situation. We uh, replicate that over here. You know, we've got all of this sugar cane here, but we haven't really done much else. You know, maybe we start terraforming the lake as well. There's just, there's so many things to do. There really is. All right, guys, it is that time. It is time to pretty up our area at long freaking last. So as far as I can remember, it's log, leaf. Then three fences, then a leaf, then a, then that. Yeah, uh, I think that's the way it went. Anyway, and then uh, in the middle is where we had ourselves like a, a, a lamp post. Yeah. Okay. I hope I've remembered this right. So if we just have a little bit of a look around here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall is the fences. Or the lamp post more to the point. Okay. Well, let's go and get this thing going. Eh? So that's three, four, five, six. And then on either side, we have ourselves... A big old lamppost. Yeah. All right. A little bit of light for the Pythonade as well. And I think this is going to look really, really cool, guys. All right. So uh, this is what? Three blocks. So that's two, three, four, five, six. And we go out. And yeah, you got you guys get the idea. I mean, I'm not going to insult your guys' intelligence. I mean, you're watching the video right now, aren't you? Right? <laughs> Oh dear. All right. So yeah, I mean to be honest, I mean I'm probably just gonna sort of grind this out for a bit and uh, See how it's looking in just a hot second I mean we're going sort of all the way around the corner here to the left and Yeah guys 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 guys. Can you remember this hole over here? I think this is where we got our first ever stone in this world, huh? Like oh man, I got some memories here I think there was coal here originally, and then we just wound up, like, chopping out a whole bunch of stone and then using it for our base, right? Oh, man. I feel like we should, like, preserve this area, you know. Remind us of the old days. Oh, yeah. The old days of the series. The first days of the series, huh? Oh, man. How many of you guys out there watching this video have been watching this since the start, huh? I'll tell you what. Poll on screen. I'd be very interested to know how many of you guys have been here since the start. Leave your vote. Hey, and there we go, guys. It's making this area look so much more pretty already. The fact that we've got ourselves a nice little border around this lake here. It's just so much nicer already. Let's have a look at it from the skies. And I guess it'll be a nice idea to look at it, uh, you know, at night time as well. But yeah, there we go. Ooh, I kind of like that. We've got like a like a weird sort of mini forested mountain here. I kind of like it, you know? I feel like we should make some sort of featurette out of this tiny little mountain here. This tiny little spike out of the ground. This tiny pyre. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you guys can head down to the comments area. Let me know your suggestions for this tiny little forested mountain, this flower forest mountain. Let me know what you think it should be transformed into. Or we could just not. We could just have it be like a, like a, I don't know, like a water volcano, a water cano, you know? 
<laughs> just have like a hill with water spewing out of it, right? I don't know, or just a waterfall. I don't know, man. Let me know, guys. I'd be very interested to know your uh, suggestions uh, regarding that. But uh, looking at it at night time, yeah. It's looking great, isn't it, guys? I am liking it a lot. Now, obviously, you know, it would be a nice idea to uh, get this entire place surrounded uh, with this same sort of, uh, you know, this ridge design here. Uh, and, yeah, we could start working on the on the actual lake itself after that. You know, we need to replicate what we've got going on here with the nice little animated textures of the seagrass. We've got the dirt here. We've got some stone bricks and some hidden lighting. Ooh! Lots of things to do, my friends. Lots of things to keep us busy, huh? But uh, I think for now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is actually end the episode right here. So, guys, we're going to do the comment of the day before heading off, of course. Uh, we have Nicholas Bunch who asks, when it comes out, will you do a Minecraft Dungeons playthrough? Uh, no. <laughs> the reason why I'm not going to go ahead and do that, because Minecraft Dungeons is kind of in the same books as League of Legends and World of Warcraft. And the reason I don't play those lot is because I know that I will probably wind up getting addicted to it. And it would probably, you know, negatively affect the frequency of uh, videos going out on my YouTube channels, right? So it's more for the sake of me continuing to be productive with my YouTube channels that i don't want to play minecraft dungeons like I, I have nothing against the game itself i'm sure it's totally totally awesome but uh yeah i'm probably not going to play with it because i don't want to get into it and then get like addicted to it because uh yeah that that, that happens that happens with me I, I feel like i've got like a, an addicting personality i get addicted to things you know collecting stationary notepads and whatnots and playing gta in my spare time just to kill time and procrastinate you know uh, it's it's a silly situation but uh yeah anyways guys that is going to wrap it up for today's episode thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of slightly more laid back episode if you have then please do be sure of course to drop a like rating as i mentioned 3000 likes is the amount we go for on the series if we keep it up with that that would be more than enough to tell me that you guys are still enjoying the series and want to continue seeing more hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content as well and guys thank you so much for watching do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next episode